Have you been on a Top Gear special before? I've seen yes. you on them. You have, I've seen you there. This yes, definitely have. was. James, they're tough. Yeah. Some viewers don't know this, but Lotus does not have a good reputation for quality. Some say that this stands for lots of trouble, usually serious. It has a hand-built V8 engine with two turbochargers designed by a specialist, small British car making company, and that is a byword for reliability and motoring pleasure. <laughs> we know that. It's not, and you know that. Should we just run through some of the detailing on it? Yeah. The door Carry handles on. on this model are from a Vauxhall Cavalier. Correct. Door mirrors are from a Citroen. Don't oh. touch it. The gearbox in this is from a Renault 25. Correct. Because that was the best gearbox they could find, or the only one that would fit. It was the only one that would fit. And of course, the body is made from exactly the same material as a lavatory seat. Or a bucket. Anyway, have you finished being envious of my car? If I could move on. The Porsche 928. Yes. Fascinating. Hammond! <laughs> Wowzers! <laughs> I do like that in a slightly Richard Hammondy sort of way. Is that a Mach 1? It certainly is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at that! Tell me that isn't magnificently boring. It no, isn't. I'm glad it's grey though. Why? Well, because it's very business like. You can advise me on my mortgage later on. I am. As always, the voice of reason and wisdom on this programme. We could have bickered forever, but at this point, our challenge arrived. <clears throat> you will now drive 130 miles to the house where Butch Cassidy lived when he was on the run from the law. 130 miles? Hang on, that's it? That's somewhere it. I thought there was going to be another, you know, there's usually the other paragraph. To where Butch Cassidy lived. I, I love, love Butch Cassidy. I'm, my favourite film in the entire world is Butch Cassidy. And all I've got to do is drive a Porsche 928 130 miles to get there, on road. So I say it this way, all he's got to do is drive a Lotus Esprit 130 miles. I can see now where they're going yeah, with yeah, this. Yeah, 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 they've tailored it for you. Amazed at the apparent easiness of our challenge, we fired up the V8s. <laughs> and plunged into the magnificence of Argentina's heartland. The roads are lovely, proper roads, paved, very pretty. I think the producers have lost it. I'd turn over. If I were you, I wouldn't watch this. Three comfortable middle-aged men driving lovely cars. It's not, that's not really very good television. So, situation report, I have 128 miles to go, but everything's working. Uh, the road is very nice. Uh, phew, we're going to have to spin this out a bit. To do just that, we decided to talk about our cars. This particular Mustang came along at a really critical time for the V8, because this was 1971. In 1972, America started introducing all sorts of restrictions because of emissions and fuel, and they strangled them. So many people regard 71 as the last proper year of the full-on, full-bore, full-raw V8. Hammond and Clarkson are absolutely right. The Lotus is a risk. Of course the Porsche will work. It was made by Porsche. They're more German than normal Germans when it comes to doing things properly. They're brilliant at it. But it's a bit safe, it's a bit great, it's a bit business-like. The Mustang will work because it's just a piece of American clog iron, it's low stress, designed to run all day. This, yes, this came from Norfolk. This was built by blokes. Of course it's fragile, but that's what makes it interesting. And it's the best looking, and it's the fastest, and it's the reddest. 